This is the Bison Coaches Corner. We're talking Bison Wrestling today with head coach Roger Kish. Roger, welcome uh, to the show here today. And we just want to get things started by give us a sense of how the season has gone for you so far. It's been a, a long season. You had the holiday break. But how do you feel right now heading into 2016? You know, we feel good. We got, uh, you know, we, we, we had a lot of hard hard uh, matches, competition yeah. here on the front side. Um, a lot of new faces in our lineup. We got five new faces in our starting lineup here and, and, and only one senior. So uh, with that being said, uh, we, we're, we're happy with where we're at and, and we've, we've made a, a you know, a lot of progress here over the the, uh, the first part of the year here, the first part of the season. So we're, we're excited with where we're at. We got a, a lot of young kids who are excited to get back out and start competing, and get back into the dual meet setting and uh, uh, get out there and, and, and wrestle. You're not in the full Big 12 schedule yet. That'll come next year. But what's it like uh, being in the conference? What's it been like for you? Uh, just a overall image of the program, how it is in the Big 12. You know, it's uh, when when you when you step into a, a conference like the Big Twelve, you know it's going to be a, a challenge. It's uh, but on the other side, it's going to provide a lot of opportunities, yeah. and that's what we're excited for is the opportunities that it's going to give us. And we know it's going to be a tough road. And uh, every every team here uh, with with the, the Big Twelve affiliates and the Big Twelve programs um, is going to provide a challenge for us. But that's what we want. That's what we we would expect. And uh, we're 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 excited to get in there and, and have a hard fought match every time we step out on the mats. Hey, the Bison got their first Big 12 Wrestler of the Week here in 2016 at 184. Hayden Zilmer, he got third place at the Midlands. That's a great accomplishment right there, and yeah. he's off to a good start. Ranked seventh, he's 21-3. and three. He, He's doing a great job, and he was really good at the Midlands. Yeah, yeah, you know, he... Uh uh, coming off that uh, holiday break is, is really challenging for our guys to come out and, and perform real well. We give them, we try to give them as much time off there and, and, and spend some family time. I think that's important for our guys and, and staying, uh, you know, balanced. Um, but coming back and, and uh, getting a day or two of, of actual training in prior to the Midlands competition is always hard for guys to kind of hit their stride. And uh, yeah. you know, he, he he came out and wrestled a little bit, uh, a little bit slow to start the tournament, and, and then kind of found his groove and and got back into it and really wrestled well and, and finished the tournament out great and and positioned himself, uh, you know, uh, really well here heading into the to the new year. So really excited about how how he uh, how he performed out at the Midlands tournament and. Uh, you know, moving into the, the dual meet schedule. Hey, at 125, Josh Rodriguez, he's a junior, yep. fourth at the Midlands, third at Reno. He's having a nice season as well. Yeah, he is. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys who continues to, you know, he has he has ups and downs throughout the year. Yep. And, and uh, that's what we would expect out of a, you know, still relatively young man. And, 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 and uh, he continues to wrestle well. He, uh, he exceeds our expectations every time he steps out on the mat. And, he, uh, he keeps gaining momentum. He knows he can go out there, compete, and, and, and wrestle with the best guys in the country. And I think that uh, that, that semi-match there at the Midlands tournament with the, uh, what, number two ranked guy in the country, yeah. and he positioned himself to win that match and, uh, you know, came up, came up a little short. But, uh, you know, every time he wrestles these guys, he knows it's an opportunity, and uh, it gives him confidence knowing that he can, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with anyone in the country. And uh, that's going to that's gonna make a, a big difference for him here uh, as, as we get closer to, to Big 12s and, and NCAA time. Hey, one of the highlights of last season was a dual win over Boise State. That was very exciting out at Boise. Yep. This week, here we go again. You're back out at Boise. Uh, you know, how is this matchup shaping up? How is Boise this year? Uh, you got the win last year, so you guys have the confidence. But size up this matchup for us. It's, it's going to be a good duel. Uh, we, uh, we expect them to... to, to have a great great match put 10 uh, 10 talented guys on the mat and, and we expect to go toe to toe with them um you know break down uh the duel i i see us uh you know favored at a handful of matches and i see them favored at a handful of matches so it uh really it's going to come down to bonus points and and uh what uh, what group of young men uh step out to to win the match you've had three duels and i think two very very tough duels and and that can prepare you for a matchup uh, like boise is mm -hmm. isn't it virginia Virginia Tech, those are two strong teams, and, sure. and your guys can draw on that uh, experience, can't they? Yeah, and that's what it's all about for our guys is, uh, you know, with, with such a young group of kids and, and uh, you know, looking back from, from where they started to where they're at today has is, 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 is just been, been leaps and bounds, and that's something we're, we're real happy with. Uh, so yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be able to, to use that experience and, and um, you know it's not just those two duels, but you know yeah. competing at Reno, competing at Midlands, right. going out to Vegas and, and wrestling with the best uh, the best group of kids and the teams uh, in the country. Um, you know they're gonna they're gonna be excited to get out there and wrestle. 